hell of a take for this heavyweight fight. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Alexander Drago Volta. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Surreal Bogomol. Yeah. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, so here's Silicon in terms of the speed and the footwork and the overall mixed martial arts acumen. This man is as good as it gets. Many believe he will eventually be an undisputed champion, and he's just getting going, right? It's scary to think how good he is, given that largely he is still a developing fighter and has only really been training full-time in MMA for four or five years. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cito Ghan, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Ghan is a hard, hard puzzle to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Ghan, and you can see that as we watch him right now. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Cyril Ghan. Nice level change. Trying to establish that jab once again. Just over three minutes to go round one. Visibly limping here. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Doing work with the jab. Oh, collar tie. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice punch by Volkov. He's got some hands, man. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that kick. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth with submission defense wins this transition. side control DC this is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide they try to turn back into you you can attack guillotine if they turn away to try to get to your knees you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions oh good ground is pound here oh he got saved by the bell there he was getting absolutely starched on the ground grounded and pounded Thankfully, the horn came at a good time. You see, gingerly, he gets back to his feet. He'll go back to the stool now for 60 seconds. Now the onus is on his corner to try to keep him in the fight. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip, for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right. Round two. Big shot to the head. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. Oh! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Right 
throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Back and forth we go. Great job by Stone. Back to his feet. Massive left hand. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, he is hurting for certain. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, that one landed, yep. Lands a solid take now. Inside the now closed goal of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big round of fun. Mm, that was nice. You've got to start to get to the get-up process. Because everybody talks like you just get up, you don't. It's a process, right? You get to the underhook, you build to the elbow, then you start to gain height to get back to your feet. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize him. God, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace. Oh. Got him hurt. Got to start looking to finish. That leg kick hurt. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, he's got a better move. Yeah, he's got a move. Johnny's got a shrimp. He's trying to either get up or pull his opponent back into him so he doesn't have the posture to land that big damage. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays after that round, and he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet, but if he keeps hit, getting hit there, it will be, and then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now, but we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. Gong's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh! Back to the feet. To stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yo. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again here? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, you don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish that. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of it. Oh, big shots raining down. Gons looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when to fold him, yes, absolutely. Oh, back 
up again. You can't hold a good man down. Two shots there. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned. Because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alexander Drago Volkov. Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He left.